Alright guys, welcome back to part 17 of modding the original Xbox. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what you can do if you have a Xbox that was never modded and the hard drive does not work anymore. This video is a request from Raid Abasi, who posted in my comments asking if I can do a tutorial on what to do when the original hard drive is not working anymore. Maybe when you turn it on you get error 21, 16, or any of the other errors that result to a hard drive issue. Maybe you've scanned your hard drive with my other tutorial with using MHDD and found out that your hard drive is bad. How do we fix these issues? So this tutorial will talk about how you can use Xbox HDM to replace the hard drive with another hard drive. Currently here I have a Seagate hard drive. This one was pulled out of a original Xbox at one point. Uh, here is a Western Digital hard drive that you can also use. I'll be using this Western Digital drive for most of my tutorials here. Uh, do note that the Western Digital drive, when it is plugged in alone, it has a hard time using the master jumper. So if you look here on the jumper chart, it does say single or master has no jumpers. Master with slave present has a jumper. So you want to remove the jumper from the hard drive if you're going to use this older hard drive. And if you have issues with your certain hard drive, you should verify what the jumper setting should be. I also have this 40 gig IDE drive that you could also use. But for our USB to IDE adapter tutorial, I'll be using the SATA hard drive instead. And we'll use this SATA adapter that we can get from eBay for about $2 each. First we'll need to apply some tape to the hard drive. And then we can connect the adapter. And now we'll just verify that our jumper is set to master. And there you go, now we have our hard drive set up to use for our USB to IDE adapter. I'll then plug in the USB to IDE adapter that I use. This specific one is the Inland brand I purchased at Micro Center. Now you can miss pin these, so just be sure that you're getting them into all the pins. And then just plug in the power adapter and you're good to go. One of the most important things we will need for this tutorial is your EEPROM from your original Xbox. You can see I have included in my pack a nulled EEPROM with just some generic settings. Definitely don't use this to flash onto your Xbox. I've only included it for convenience so that you can lock your hard drive to a nulled EEPROM HDD key. So if you haven't nulled your EEPROM, you will need to extract it from your original Xbox. And I've made a tutorial that you can watch here on how to do that with a Raspberry Pi. In the description, I will have three different download links. Each one of these contains the files you'll need for the specific tutorial you're going to follow. The first tutorial we will be talking about how to use an IDE to USB adapter to build your original Xbox hard drive. The second one will talk about how to use a DVD and an older computer. And the third one will talk about how to use a USB bootable drive and an older computer. On the screen you'll see the three times of when each of these videos will start. So you can fast forward to any of them and I'll have a timestamp after each tutorial so you can fast forward to the last part of the video. Okay, so the first method we're going to use is the USB to IDE adapter. And this is probably the most common way that you'll be able to build a hard drive using your modern Windows device. So the first thing you're going to need is to be sure that your eprom.bin file is in this folder. Remember, this is my nulled eprom.bin file. So if you have not nulled your eprom, this eprom will not work for you. You will need to extract it, as said before. So in here I have the C files that I'm going to be using. These are the C files from Rocky 5 soft mod version 1.1.7. The first thing you should do is go to his GitHub and verify this is the most current version. If it is not the most current version, download it, extract it, and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you should see a zip file called xbhdm build. Open up the zip file, navigate to the C folder, replace the original files with these files, and then you'll have an updated soft mod. Okay, in this case now I plugged in a 232 gigabyte hard drive into my desktop PC. 
and we're going to run xboxhd.bat. Now if we press 1, you can see the drive shows up as number 1. So let's go ahead and just verify it's unlocked. And it is, so now let's go ahead and launch Xbox HDM and press number 1. Alright, so let's type in Xbox HD. We are going to build a new Xbox HD from scratch. Select yes. Now it's asking us if we want to format our partitions, so type yes. And because our hard drive is large enough, it's asking us if we want to format our F partition. Select yes. Let's type in yes to confirm copying from Xbox HDM to the C drive. Okay, now we're back here. Let's go down to browse files on Xbox drive. And we can hit the tab button and we're looking underneath the hard drive and we can see that we have our installer, media, exo dash, and xbox dash.xpe files. So let's press F10 and we can quit. Now we have to lock our hard drive. So we'll press 3 to lock the hard drive and then press 1. Now at the menu we can press 5 to check the lock on disk 1 and we can see that it says enabled. This is exactly what we want. Don't worry too much about what it says here where it says not locked. It's just because the hard drive is still connected and we need to turn it off and on again. But our security is enabled. So the next time that we plug in or reboot our hard drive, this will say locked. So we can just close out of everything and we can plug our hard drive into our Xbox. Okay, so now moving on, if you don't have a bootable USB drive, or your computer can't boot from USB, you can always burn a DVD. In the description, you can download the Xbox HDM 1.9 DVD bootable pack, and inside here there are two folders, and under the Linux partition, I put all of Rocky 5 soft mod version 1.1.7. And as I mentioned earlier, the first thing you should do is go to his GitHub and verify this is the most current version. If it is not the most current version, download it, extract it, and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you should see a zip file called xbhdm build. Open up the zip file, navigate to the C folder, replace the original files with these files, and then you'll have an updated soft mod. After that, if you have your EEPROM, you can put it into the EEPROM folder. I'm not going to do this because I have a floppy disk with my eprom.bin file right in the root of the floppy. So when I go to lock my hard drive it will ask me where the eprom file is and I will tell it it's on the floppy disk. So when we are all set to go and we got our files in the right folders under the Linux folder, all you have to do is double click the make-iso-win.bat file and really quick it will give us a linux.iso and all we have to do is right click and choose burn image. I'm choosing to burn this image onto a DVD RW so I can erase it later if I need to. And just select burn. Now that we are all done, we'll just click close and I'll grab the disk and put it into the old computer with IDE built in. Okay, so now on this other older computer here, I'm going to put the DVD in and press delete so that I can enter the, the BIOS. We'll need to set the DVD drive to boot up first. So under boot device priority, we have CD-ROM selected to boot first. And then I'm going to just verify under CD-ROM drives that the drive that I'm going to use is number one. Now we can press F10 and hit save. My new hard drive is connected to this machine already. I'll, I'll show you another way if you want to skip going into the BIOS you can open up the boot menu. For this computer it's F8. Not all computers have a boot menu. 
and I'm just gonna select the DVD drive in the list. So in the menu here, we have two options we can choose from. Uh, VGA console is the default. You can choose that if you want. I'm gonna choose option two, text console, because my computer has problems booting the VGA console. So choose option one, and if you have problems, reboot your computer, and then choose option two. Once you see this screen, you can type Xbox HD and press enter. You can type yes, and then we're gonna hit one, and then hit enter. Now it's asking us if we want to format the partitions, type yes. Type yes to copy files to the C drive. And just like that, our Xbox hard drive is done. Press eight to quit. And we're gonna type in one more thing at the command line. Type X B R O W S E R, X browser, and then hit enter. And this window here will show you exactly what files are on your C and E drives. And it's very important to verify that your C and E files did get copied correctly. Now press F10 and select yes to quit. Now you can just press the reset button on your computer and reboot back into the DVD again. Once you're here, we're gonna press three and hit enter. We're going to start locking our hard drive. At the prompt, type lock HD hyphen A. And then press enter. And if you didn't put the EEPROM on the disk, and you have it on a floppy, put the floppy disk in, press one and then hit enter. And you should see the HDD key listed there. Press Y to continue and now your hard drive will be locked. At this point, you can shut the computer down and plug in your hard drive into your original Xbox. So I have a flash drive plugged into my computer right here. We're going to use Rufus to reformat this flash drive. Let's launch it. It's already selected the flash drive that I want to use. Under boot selection, I'm just going to make it non-bootable. For file system, let's choose FAT32, and we'll click start. Now everything on the flash drive will be wiped, so just click OK. Now we can close Rufus. Now we must go into the grub install folder. We are going to launch grub inst underscore GUI as administrator. So here I'm going to select the disk. In the dropdown, I have to select the flash drive I'm going to use. Notice how your hard drive shows up here, so make sure you select your flash drive. And then we click this button here that says refresh. And in the dropdown, we should see hold disk NBR. Put a check mark next to don't search floppy, and then click install. And you should see this command prompt window that comes up here. It says MBRBS has been successfully installed. So we just click enter on the keyboard and then we are done with this. So now in the pack I have this Xbox HDM 2.2A. What we want to do is with 7-zip, come over to where it says extract files. And right here we're going to be extracting it to drive D. So just type in D colon and uncheck this box if it shows up because we want to extract all the files from within this pack into the path of drive D. So we'll hit OK. Now if you look at drive D, this is what it should look like right now. And underneath EEPROM, we're going to put that EEPROM file that we have. Now again, this is my nulled EEPROM. It will only work if your Xbox's EEPROM has been nulled. Copy that into drive D or put your own EEPROM bin file in here. And under HDM, we are going to go to C. And under my pack where drive C is here, these files are Rocky 5 soft mod version 1.1.7. The first thing you should do is go to his GitHub and verify this is the most current version. If it is not the most current version, download it, extract it, and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you should see a zip file called xbhdm build. 
open up the zip file, navigate to the C folder, replace the original files with these files, and then you'll have an updated soft mod. Okay, now we should be good to go. We can go ahead and safely disconnect our flash drive. Okay, so I've taken a hard drive, I plugged it into my older computer here, and I just pressed the delete key. And what we want to do is make sure that the BIOS is set to boot our flash drive first. So we'll just go over to the boot tab and we can go down to removable devices. Now if your flash drive doesn't show up here, that's probably a good thing because it's getting listed as a hard drive. So right there my flash drive is set to boot first. And you can use the plus and minus keys to move these up the list. Now we just need to make sure that under boot device priority that our hard disk is set to boot first. Now if your computer has a boot menu you can use that to select your flash drive and I'll show you how to do that as well. The other thing it's important to know which IDE bus our hard drive is plugged into. So here the 8 gigabyte WD drive I have is primary master. We'll need to know this later. So we'll press F10 and save. And you can see on the bottom it says press F8 to enter boot menu. This is different for every computer, so there's no guarantee you pressing F8 will get the boot menu on your computer. But if you do know what it is, you can optionally check F8. And then come down to where you see your flash drive, and then press enter. Now our flash drive should boot up, and you should see the top option selected, Xbox HDM 2.2 and Slacks GUI. Just press enter, and now we will wait for the flash drive to boot up. Okay, so now that our flash drive is booted up, we're going to click down here where it says console. Now in the console, type Xbox HD2 and hit enter. Now you should see this message where it says HDM directory is found and eprom.bin is found. We'll type in yes. Now earlier I showed you in the BIOS where your hard drive is located. Mine is on primary master, so I will type 1 and enter. Okay, so let's press 2 to activate Xbox HDM Stage 2 and hit enter. And type yes and hit enter. Now a new window will pop up here and we'll be entering in commands into it. So we are going to type in Xbox HD and hit enter. We'll just type in yes and hit 1 because we are going to be building a new Xbox hard drive from scratch. We're going to type yes to format the partitions and build a new Xbox hard drive. Now type yes to copy from the C drive. If you received another message that said you look like you have enough for a F partition, just go ahead and hit yes to format that. And now we're already done. All we have to do is press 8 to quit. But there's one more thing I want to do here, and that is to type in X B R O W S E R, X browser. And what this is is showing us is what files are on the flash drive and what files are on the hard drive. So if we press tab and just press down to the C folder and hit enter, we'll see all the files that we have copied onto the C drive. Now if you see files here that are truncated like this picture, then you will have problems getting your Xbox to boot. That was my issue for the last few days. If everything looks good, you can press F10 on the keyboard to Quit X browser. Now we can press Control Alt to free the mouse from the VM and just close the window. And then back here, we're going to type in Xbox HD2 and type yes. I'm on primary master one, so I'll press one. We're going to press three to lock our hard drive and type yes. And you can see my hard drive key has been nulled out. It's got all zeros. Yours should be something else, unless you've already nulled your EEPROM. Now press Y, and we should be good to go. Now I can type HALT, and wait for the computer to shut off. Now if you've followed any of the three tutorials, you should be able to plug your hard drive back into your Xbox and boot it up. Now over the last few days of working on this video, I ran into several weird errors, and in the case like you see here, 
I was able to resolve this by actually wiping the hard disk using Derek's boot and nuke found on the Ultimate Boot CD. Just one pass was enough and the next time I connected my hard drive the errors went away. Simply formatting the hard drive was not enough and I had to actually wipe the disk with Derek's boot and nuke. So if you run into a weird error, give that a shot and see if the error goes away after you've wiped the disk with Derek's. Thanks for watching this video. I wanted to send a special thanks to the Reddit user Xbox Classic for helping me out with the USB bootable section of this tutorial. The links he provided were incredibly helpful for figuring out how to build a bootable USB properly. As always guys, like, comment, subscribe for more tech related videos and let me know in the comments what Xbox videos you want to see. Thanks for watching.